sun was off. That's clear. It's two oh two three five zero. And this will be the end of this car. The reason why I'm filming is because I am getting rid of this car. It's a nineteen ninety-nine Toyota. Today is April twenty-six, and the reason why I'm doing this little film clip is because I am I'm going to sell this car or actually give it away. Um, and I always wanted to do a little video clip showing my satisfaction, I guess you could say, with this car, which we bought in 1999 brand new. So we got it for, I believe it was $15,000, $16,000 in 1999. And we drove it, meaning my wife, myself, and actually car also my son learned how to drive on with a stick obviously and it still has the original clutch very impressive if you treat the car properly and you shift properly and use the clutch properly it's gonna last the lifetime of the car so it's the original clutch and it slips a little bit but uh, it still goes still starts on the first start this is the one thing that I have to say about this car it starts on the first start it is one of the most reliable cars I've ever driven and the reason why I'm doing this clip is exactly for that reason so reliable so dependable that I want to let people know that if you want something reliable and dependable this is the way to go car still uh, works really well the radio works uh, things that don't work for example and you notice on load doesn't work, the resistor here burnt out. And it works there and there. It's a little bit tiresome because it makes a lot of noise, but at least uh, it works on two speeds. The blower also I changed, it's not the original blower. One of the things that I had to do to this car. Another thing is uh, some of the lights, it's daytime now so you can't tell, but some of the lights on the dashboard blew out, uh, burnt out. I changed a few of them, but there's still uh, one that is still burnt out. And the engine check light came on. It's apparently it's uh, part of the, um, the pollution control. And since I'm getting rid of the car, there's no point in uh, in fixing that. So I'm just uh, getting rid of it. There's too much rust on the car, too much mileage to uh, you know put any money in repairs. One of the things that upset me and I didn't understand is why the trimming started peeling off and, and, and falling out. It happened on all the windows. And it's not the only car that I see that has that. I see many Toyotas that have that. At first I thought maybe we'd put some cleaner on it that did that to the windows, but in fact it was not. As you could see, the interior is still uh, quite clean. A couple of stripes on the defogger and the back window burnt out. I had those fixed. That happened early on when we first bought the car. I believe that twice we had uh, the defogger's uh, lines that burnt out. And as for the interior, that's all pretty much it. I mean, uh, it doesn't have AC, nothing fancy. Good car speakers. Everything's manual. Oh, one of the doors does uh, does not open from uh, the inside anymore. I thought maybe it was the child lock. It's actually that one. Passenger back. Uh, I thought maybe it was the child lock, but it's not. It's going to be hard to drive and shift at the same time. I'm in second right now. I could drive the car in a second. There's a little problem or... Uh, with the exhaust, I believe probably in the front manifold there's a little leak and 
again, because I'm selling the car, I'm not going to fix it. This was one of the disappointing things that had happened early on in the life of this car. The exhaust manifold had to be changed. Uh, the guy that did the repair on the car, since the car, I believe, was already several years old, uh, put one from a scrapyard, didn't put a new one, or so he claims. That took care of the problem, but at that time, I remember it being a little too soon or too early, and I was quite disappointed that that repair had to be done at all. And I, like I said, I couldn't understand it. Again, as you see, for 202,000 uh, kilometers, kilometers and miles, this car runs pretty well. It's standard, and I just did the stop signs in second gear. It runs quite well. Now I'm going to put the camera down because I'm coming into traffic, so we'll continue this. Brakes too work well. I've changed the uh, front brakes. Calipers had, had to be changed. So in the life of the car, the calipers were changed only once and the back drums changed only once. Once again, for 2,000 kilometers, that's pretty good. Like, I'll repeat, I changed the calipers on this car only once in 202,000 kilometers, and I changed the back drums only once. The exhaust uh, two is uh, original. The muffler is the original muffler. Uh, in the uh, fall last year, the exhaust broke from the front and again because of the uh, mileage and the condition of the car I chose not to replace the exhaust I just uh, cut a four inch piece into the exhaust and had it repaired a welder did that and it's holding so far but uh, again just to point out the 202,000 kilometers and I'm still on the original muffler never changed the muffler that is excellent. That is absolutely excellent. And it's also the original radiator across your fingers and I hope everything runs well. Light just turned green, so there. we're on the service road now doing 80 kilometers. Again, the car is running really nice and smooth. Uh, I'm on winter tires. As you can see, for this kind of mileage, the ride is quite good. I've had to change those links. One of the problems with Corollas I find is the links keep uh, breaking. I've had to change a few links and uh, ball joints and bearings obviously. I changed the right bearing twice. I don't know if it's a defective bearing. I was kind of uh, su depressed or surprised about that. But uh, yeah, there's uh, some banging from the links that need to be changed on Toyotas. So when you hit bumps, you hear a clank, a clank, a clank. Those are the links that need to be changed. Condition of the interior with this kind of mileage is actually quite good. If you look inside, there's uh, rust issues here. This car has been driven in the winter. We're uh, in Canada, so there's heavy winters. Lots of salt, as you could see. Seats too. Everything's original. Nothing's been changed. You get a look in the inside. Flashers work. Lights work. Um, there's nothing to say bad about this stuff. Let's take a quick look under the hood. Let's see what else I could remember about this car that I may have changed. So let's pop this thing. You can see the engine is quite clean. Battery obviously has been changed uh, twice, I believe. One thing that did break was this. My wife called me up one day. She was on, oh, this was a few years ago. My wife called me up one day and told me, uh, I'm pressing the gas pedal, the car isn't going anywhere. This cable had rusted and broke. Uh, the gas pedal wasn't working, basically, was what happened. So after uh, changing that, that was a problem again. We got parts, uh, used parts. So this here, it had broken. This uh, is not original. The exhaust manifold, like I said at the, the beginning, that had to be changed. One thing that bothered me was uh, the tensioner. There was an issue with the tensioner when the car was technically under warranty. And uh, they wanted to charge me. When I say they, Toyota wanted to charge me. And I'd gone to a bit of an argument with them and got them to change the uh, tensioner on warranty, yet I paid the belt because they said, I claimed that the tensioner 
uh, should be under warranty. They claimed that it was a usable piece and that uh, they had to charge me. So uh, we got out of that one by uh, customer paying for the uh, for the serpentine belt, and they paid the uh, tensioner. So there's a leak from there in the back. I'm not exactly sure where it's coming from. What else? Oh, the. Uh, power steering fluid they I popped a leak and we changed some of the uh, the tubing we replaced it with rubber had no choice you can't find these parts and I wasn't gonna buy them uh, from Toyota so so far I have to admit that's pretty good uh, booster all's original everything you see here is original the fans the radiator, alternator, uh, all's original. Everything is original. The only thing that had to be changed was, like I said, the tensioner. Uh, one of the manifolds, the exhaust manifold, there was a leak in it when the car was new. Oh, I changed the cable spark plugs. Good little car, I have to admit, I'm very happy with this car. One word to describe it, dependable. You can't go wrong with this car, it always started, all the time. We also had, unfortunately, a few accidents with this car. And uh, this light had to be changed, this fender is not original. Also, I've gotten hit from uh, the back see where the rust and issues are with these cars. This is where it had been accidented. That's what happens when somebody is texting and not paying attention to what they're doing and drives right into you. Or they're on the phone. One of the, the two. These are problems here. The rust of the doors. Well, I think that's pretty much all I have to say about this car. Forget something very important. Every year, my wiper sees on me. Uh, at first, I thought I had to change either the assembly or the motor. Neither one. All I did was uh, grease it. I take off that plastic covering over here, right here with these screws, and I just shoot some WD-40 as much as I can, and. Uh, that's it. Usually it seizes on me and the wipers don't work. Uh, keep that in mind. It's, it's kind of dangerous in uh, Canada. It rains a lot, a lot of snow. Lots of little rust spots. Don't know how much you could see. Underneath of the car is quite clean. Still running the uh, original brake cable and it works. Still on the original gas tank, no leaks yet. I had to change the uh, the uh, brake lines though. They, they corroded and started leaking oil. Uh, this was last summer. So again, for a 1999 car with 202,000 kilometers, uh, in 2015, I had to change the brake lines, which is actually quite cool. I'd like to be able to go into the car, but I can't. Hopefully, it gives you some view of the bottom underneath of the car.